Deerfield Conservation Commission, July 28th, 2016, 7 p.m. We're convening our meeting. Present is Ben Byrne, Louis Mission, Steve Barrett, Brian Dana. Uh, what we're going to do is we have one piece of new business on our agenda. We have a request for determination submitted by Mark Whiteman and Dan by Dan Nitschke for 67 to 73 Sugarloaf Street. So if you'd like to come up here, gentlemen, and just close enough. Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, <laughs> probably too close and you're right down to it. Well, good evening. Um, representing Mark Whiteman, we, uh, about, was it almost three months ago now, we walked the property. He was doing test pits out there to try to look for water table, and as part of that investigation, um, I looked the area over on the property itself, uh, on the open part, the field part, plus in the wooded area, using a hand auger to dig, although we used an excavator to go down 10 feet, so that was pretty much... Um, a lot more than I was able to dig. Uh, found no wetland soil, found no wetland vegetation anywhere on the property or, or what we could see adjacent to the property line, so that, that means there's no buffer zone that would be projecting back onto the property. A review of the wetland, uh, mass GIS wetland layer indicates that there's no wetlands on the property or adjacent to it, so we essentially were confirming that in the field. So that's what we were asking for. We, in order for Mark to move forward with his, uh, his other boards and, and uh, committees he has to deal with, we figured we'd just get this out of the way that there are no wetlands on the property uh, or no buffer zone, no jurisdictional areas. So that's why we filed the RDA. Hello, David. Well, we did do a site visit this evening at 630 and walked a good deal of the property. Um, I also consulted with Mark Stinson, who is the area circuit rider for DEP, and he also confirmed that as far as they're concerned, this is not a jurisdictional area. And the RDA that was submitted was submitted to it request the Deerfield Conservation Commission make the following determinations, check any that apply, whether the area depicted on the plan or the maps referenced below is an area subject to jurisdiction of the Wetlands Protection Act. Um, after con consulting with DEP doing the site visit, and Dan, we've dealt with you many times over the years. Um, we feel that, well, I am going to make a motion that we give them a negative determination that there are no wetlands issues on this particular property. So that motion before the board, what is the pleasure of the board? All second. All right. All right. All right. So before. Negative. Negative. Number. Is there? Bear with me one second there, Lou. Negative one. The area described in the request is not an area subject to protection under the Act or the buffer zone. And this was an interesting request for determination because <coughs> for the first time in my 25 odd years on this board, we did receive a freedom of information request for all of the, the very limited amount of information that was available. So that was kind of a, a different twist on the whole thing. Well, at least they won't have a lot to read. <laughs> There was not a lot to read. I hope you did get everything that you felt you got your copies of the request for determination. Yes. Just okay, good. No, I just want to make sure that we did. Is this the proper venue, sir, to ask questions about water runoff or should I be approaching the board with that? We have some jurisdiction. The planning board has more jurisdiction on that than we would. We're basically for wetlands, or there would, if say something there was a downstream, there was a, an issue, then we would have some jurisdiction. But basically, I think the planning board would probably preempt us because we have no jurisdiction in the Wetlands Protection Act. Okay, so It'd be, I would talk to John on the planning board, John Waite. Um, now, one of the things that I do want to make sure that everybody's aware of is that there is an appeal period. <laughs> that we have 10 days to appeal the decision that this board just made. So I want to make sure that everybody's aware of that. that and with that, I would say that uh, that
thank you for coming in. Appreciate all the Great. work you did. Great. And good luck on whatever you choose to thank do you. with said project. Great. Sorry about your shoes. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Don't worry, the, the bill will be in the mail. <laughs> So, review our meeting minutes for review from our last meeting. Looking for somebody? Do we need to? Yeah, I would say you missed the bulk of the, the, bulk of the meeting. Yeah, was the issue about the subdivision proposal. There are no wetlands issues involved, the conservation. Talk to DEP about that specifically because it was mentioned to me in town hall here. And there is no jurisdiction for underground water unless it is below a wetlands per se. Nope. Not for us anymore. Not we have no jurisdiction. Not for us anymore. So, so you're saying who would, I mean let's say okay, right? We have no jurisdiction under the act. I specifically talked to Mark Stinson down in Springfield, who is the area circuit rider, because a question like that is the first time, one, we've ever had a Freedom of Information Act request, and two, we've never had anybody mention underground water streams aquifer. And so I specifically talked to Mark Stinson, and his remark to me was, we have no, no, hang on one second, I actually wrote it down. subdivision inter affected the drainage in their area and that that very well may be but, but, you're saying, but it's not a conservation it is not a conservation where our mandate is wetland protection Only if there are no wetlands on the surface if there are no wetlands or buffer zones we have no jurisdiction what if that let's say that particular aquifer empties out through a spring that's you're asking us to regulate a hypothesis. Well, this I mean, is hypothetical. We're not going to stand here. We're not going to. I'm not going to sit here all night well, doing wondering hypothetical. Wondering what what, what I have no idea. Of, what level of oversight is there to that, or are you saying there's none? I have no idea. It's, it's above DEP. us, wherever it is. Above you. All right. That's what I'm sort of. So I'm not. We're not going to sit and go over hypotheticals all evening. Well, it's not that it's hypothetical, but it's so, sort of like what. What, what might happen? Do. That's a hypothetical. But there no is an that. You're saying that it's not a conservation commission issue. Not at there all. There are no wetlands jurisdiction issues on that property. Yeah, because it's not actually wetland, but it does involve the geology and the hydrology of the area. There are no wetlands protection act. All right. Let me take a look at the meeting from my June 23rd minutes. Accept the minutes as presented. I'll second. Aye. 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 Minutes. And check the, the mail. We'll see what we have in the mail bag. All right. We have a request for comment from the Zoning Board of Appeals. They'll hold a public meeting on July 21st. 2016, I believe, that being that today is the 28th, we could probably take this and put it into the, we've taken care of it. Um, we did have an interesting email that received from 
Priscilla about a complaint that was made on June 27th titled A Fine Way to Begin a Monday. And basically, somebody had painted on Red Rocks, no trespassing in a fluorescent paint. The owner of the property was tired of having people cut through his property, leaving trash, etc. I don't know the, the area that well. But I did present it to, again, Mark Stinson down at DEP, and his response was, painting on a stone is not typically considered a remove, fill, dredge, or alter. So we, we did handle it to make sure that we... Is that right, Yeah. It's up by DA. Um, it's on the other low, lower on road. The Greenfield and the lower road. It's, uh, do you know where our towers used to live, by any chance? You know where the first White House is on the left, the big... Uh, oh, yeah. Just at the end of all those fields, all the way down the end, there's a trail that goes down. It's all the way across. It's a popular swing. So right before you go back up the hill. Oh, okay. It's right there in that dip. And let's see, we did get an email that the Massachusetts has declared that we are in a drought situation. So that will really not cause us any issues, except if we have to... If there's any streams involved, we can't use the maps as they, whether they're current or they're intermittent. And we have a cutting plan here Deerfield and Waitley on the Glen Road by James Baronis. And that's about the extent of the mail. I thought this was already submitted. Well, we have the uh, dues for fiscal 2017, $270. I'll make a motion that we ask the town to pay that uh, bill. Second. Aye. 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 I thought we did that one too. I thought yeah. we did too. Well, we'll bring it back to Priscilla tomorrow. I'll put it at the top of the pile. So, um, Let's see. We have no old business. 825 would be the next meeting. What is it again? 825. All right. And any other business not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the meeting? There's nothing. Anybody in the audience? No, oh, there is no audience. So I'm going to make a motion that we adjourn the meeting. I'll second. 715, 714. Aye. 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 Oh, wait. We didn't do our, oh, no, we did do it because it wasn't. All right, we are out.